time now to get the truth behind some of the health stories hitting the headlines. Dr Chris is here. Good morning Good to you. Morning. Uh, let's begin with this. Bad habits are linked to an increase in oral cancer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mouth cancer is soaring ahead, um, increased by nearly 70% in the past two decades. Um, and, and with mouth cancer, we're talking about cancer of the lip, the tongue, the gums, the tonsils, the throat. And 90% um, of mouth cancers are caused by unhealthy lifestyles, in particular smoking and alcohol, mm. and also diet. The smoking accounts for 60-odd percent of cases of mouth cancer. The other interesting aspect of this, there's another cause of mouth cancer, human papilloma virus, the virus that causes cervical cancer. Oh, right. Yeah. And Michael Douglas, he, he developed tongue cancer. Mm. He publicly attributed uh, his tongue cancer to giving oral sex. So the human papillomavirus, he'd picked it up and that caused the cancer in his mouth. So, you know, it, it, I mean, human papillomavirus causes as many mouth cancers as it does cervical cancers. Right, well. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I've had uh, two friends die of mouth cancer, both smoke, smokers and drinkers, very sociable guys, lovely guys. And one of them, he had half his tongue cut out and half his cheek. He couldn't speak, he couldn't eat, right, and he so salivated. Oh, horrendous. So basically, in, in terms of mouth cancer, if you notice any lump, ulcer, swelling or whiteness in the mouth that's persisting for more than two weeks, see your doctor or see your dentist. OK, all right, thank you. Yeah.